Hey Libra, I decided to come to the lake today. Um, I had mentioned in yesterday's video that I go to the lake a lot to do some hiking and I wanted to film an outdoor video for YouTube. So I'm in my workout attire. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is the first video I've ever done in the wilderness, which is pretty cool because I think that this reading can be really, really fun today. Uh, just because of the way the camera is propped too, I decided to not put my face in today's reading, but you guys can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you want to get to see what I look like. Um, and there's other videos here that show what I look like. So we're going to get started with today's reading outdoors. Um, I felt called to do something not in a room, you know, somewhere where the energy can flow free. And I really love coming to this place. It is part lake, part trail where you can run and walk. And um, I'm looking out right now. You'll hear the, like the crows and the birds in the background because it's, um, you literally can go fishing here. And if you follow me on Instagram, you can see the, the massive lake that I've taken pictures of there. And um, I'm just staring out into the water right now, a little bit of cancer energy to start. So let's begin. Um, I was channeling today a song for you and it came to me like on the way here. So I have the title, it's by Bryce Vine and it's called Drew Barrymore. So Libra, you might actually be somebody's Drew Barrymore right now or that song kind of fits into your life. Um, and I highly recommend you listen to it because it's a really pretty song and it has um, just some very sweet tones in it. So I cut the deck in the car and now I'm just kind of hand shuffling. So we're gonna get started with today's energies overall. And I was only gonna post one video today, but I just felt compelled to do it on my hike. And let's get it. Bottom of the deck as we start, whoops. We have the Hierophant. You could be feeling right now that things are being elevated, that your healing has been elevated, you are elevated. Sorry about the lighting. You also could feel too that people are starting to notice this, that you're giving off a different vibe. You also might be looking healthier, more vibrant, more youthful. Hierophant, okay. What is Libra missing in their life right now? What is Libra missing? Um, I saw that the Queen of Swords kind of peeked at me, so take it for what it is. Queen of Swords might be relevant in your life right now, but what is Libra missing? What is Libra missing? We'll go with top of the deck. We have Eight of Pentacles energy. You probably were in this in the recent past, but lately there's probably been like a stall I'm getting or you could currently be in your Eight of Pentacles energy, which is tirelessly and achingly working. Um, you could be working on a new project or a new business idea. And this can also be talents and hobbies that are in the works. But if, you've, if you're a Libra that's hit a, a stall right now for some reason, you might wanna find out why there's a stall, why there's been a hindrance as well. So look out for that Eight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles shot out too. You could be feeling like a little bit of lack in your life or Pentacles could be something right now where this lack energy or this lack mentality has been also something that you've been heavily burdened by. I don't know if this is speaking to any Libra out there who's had been carrying kind of the burdens in which are, are hindering their lifestyle or are hindering them from becoming the star that they are. Okay. What's Libra's good energy for today? What can Libra expect? What can Libra expect? 444 four, four on the clock too. Expectation for Libra. Bottom of the deck. We're getting all the swords today. You could be prepared to heal. There could be also surrounding 
or I'm getting the word debris. There could be debris left over from a shocking incident. This could be a breakup. This could also be, like I said earlier, with the lack mentality of the Five of Pentacles. And so there's healing on the way, but I also get from this card, as you can see, she's in red, that the sorrow that's been built is trying to bring out some passion and desire. So it's also going to be the fountain of your youth, fountain of your trust. Red can also kind of pertain to, if you guys remember, Red Riding Hood. Um, she was kind of led into a forest where she didn't really know what was going on. So the, the unknowns could be something that are kind of tugging at your heartstrings if you've been a heartbroken Libra lately. Okay. What can Libra look forward to? Let's get the sun card, hopefully. <laughs> Let's get the sun card. Come on, we need a little sunshine, don't we? Don't we, you guys? <laughs> what can Libra expect today? Let's split it. Take the left side. Page of Pentacles energy. Okay, so as I was alluding earlier, we get, we're getting a lot of earth energy today. This is youthful energy. It could be someone you know, could be friends that are younger than you. This also could be you. You could be channeling new ideas of the youthful sort. You could be getting ideas too that are um, unlike you. I'm getting the word unlike, unusual, and they could be leading you to your pentacle journey if you've had some financial hardship in the recent past, okay? All right, let's get a better shuffle going here. What's crowning Libra today? What is crowning Libra? What is crowning Libra? Top of the deck. Oop, that one came out too. I'll read it. Three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, let's explain real quick. You're waiting, obviously, here. This is Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. More fire energy for us this weekend. Waiting for your ships to come in. This is travel. This is also exploring. This is also having an imagination into the wild. More exploring though, I would say. I think you're ready for a new adventure and I also think that it's coming. I also think Libra, you know what I was thinking on yesterday's ancestor reading? I think that transportation card with the train, I think that there are other ways and other means that you're discovering that you can go to your new place. I don't think you typically think it's by car or by plane. I think you're just thinking of all the ideas, right? So here she's holding her surfboard and we've been having lots of like Sag Leo energy coming into our, our sphere. Or you might know of Aries Leo and Sag that influences you at this time. Wheel of Fortune, things are turning in your favor. It's becoming more apparent to you who you are, your power balancing those scales, right? Getting your due justice. Wheel of Fortune. Also, I think too, if you've been having a difficult time, things are about to turn. This wheel here is about to go straight into your soul. And I think you're about to ignite things with new projects and again, your talents and your hobbies. Let's close out this reading beautifully by the lake. I'll put here too in the shorts how the um, how the lake looks. It's very very beautiful. Let's get Libra's overall today. Libra's overall. You guys can probably hear the birds and the cormorants. There's so much life here by this lake. Um, it's so inspiring and so beautiful. Libra's overall. Last shuffle. Last shuffle here. Let's get a good card out. <laughs> can't do it because like I'm on a slope here. I can't do it well. Libra's overall. Last one here. 
bottom of the deck let's do this star it is so beautiful look at that we haven't had the star in a while intuitively i think that that fire spark that she's holding as balloon as a balloon um i think that you let me kind of take it away from the deck here i think that you truly know that your time has arrived and as you can see there the dress is very flowy beautiful colorful lots of turquoise lots of purple purple means victory as you all know i think your time has come to be in the limelight and be a special libra for all the libras to behold and take inspiration from we haven't like i said we haven't had the star in a long long time right it's probably been a month since the stars come out in the deck and this is next to the sun this is like to me one of the happiest cards in the deck and so i think you're heading there with grace but you know you're you're not all about being the star libra sometimes feels they have to earn it and i think that's the most earnest thing about you is uh finding that we're going to conclude the reading today outdoors let me know thumbs up if you want me to do another one by the lake i love coming here so We'll see you next time. Have a great weekend, Libra.